Welcome to this journey to Bethlehem. The journey is a bit different this year, but the story we tell is the same one. The story of God coming to make his home with us. In church or at home, in good times or in difficult times, God's promise in Jesus is that he is always with us. In this service, we'll hear the story of the first Christmas and there'll be pictures and perhaps some other things for you to gather together to help you remember the story and tell it again yourselves. Or you might like to draw the story as we go along, it's up to you. I hope you're ready for some singing though because we're gonna begin by singing the first verse of A Christmas Carol. beginning when there was only water and darkness, the Spirit of God moved over the face of the water. God said, let there be light, and there was light. And then, when the time was right, God sent his Son, Jesus, the Saviour of the world. During Advent, we've been waiting, waiting for Christmas, for the birth of Jesus. Lots of us have been waiting for other things too, for a time when we can see more friends and family again. For a time when we're safe from the coronavirus. For a time when we can do again the things we miss. I wonder what it feels like you're waiting for. God's people had been waiting too. From the beginning, 
when God made human beings to share in his love, the story is told of God loving his people. In the beginning, the story began, and there was Adam and Eve, Noah and his family. Abraham and Sarah, Isaac and Rebecca, Leah and Rachel. And the story went on. There was Joseph, Moses and Miriam and Aaron, Ruth and Naomi. David and Solomon and the story went on. There was Esther, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, John the Baptist, and the story went on. And then came Mary, and then came Joseph. As we tell the story, we sing the second verse of the carol. As Mary was growing up, her mother and father told her about God's great promise that one day his chosen one, the Messiah, would come into the world. Mary thought about this promise often. One day an angel came to her. The angel told Mary that she was going to have a baby and that she would be the mother of the chosen one, the Messiah. Can you see Mary? Can you see the angel? His name is Gabriel. Mary is thoughtful and filled with wonder and perhaps a little scared. Gabriel reaches towards Mary to tell her the message and to reassure her. Mary thinks about all that it will mean to be the mother of the chosen one. She thinks very carefully and then she says yes. Lord, help us to say yes to all your plans for us. In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This meant that everyone had to travel to their hometown. Joseph came from Bethlehem, so he and Mary had to travel there. 
When they arrive, the city is crowded with people looking for somewhere to stay the night. Everywhere is full. The only place left is where the animals usually sleep, among the straw, in a stable. Lord, we pray for everybody looking for shelter this Christmas. It was nearly time for Mary's baby to be born when she and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem. At least the stable was safe and quiet. During the night, the baby was born. They wrapped him in strips of cloth to make him feel safe and warm, and they used the animal's feed trough as his bed. Lord, we pray for everybody looking after a newborn baby this Christmas, and especially for those who are far away from home. The shepherds were not in the crowded town. They were up on the hillside. They had to work all through the night, caring for the sheep and keeping them safe. It must have been dark and quite cold sitting outside, under the stars. Suddenly there was a bright light, brighter than the stars, brighter even than the sun, and it shone all around the shepherds. They were terrified. In the midst of the light they saw an angel, The angel spoke and said, Do not be afraid. I bring you a message of peace. A child has been born. He is your Messiah, your Saviour. This is how you will find him. He is in Bethlehem, wrapped in cloths and lying in an animal's feeding trough. Suddenly a whole choir of angels came near to the angel who had spoken and began to sing, Glory to God in the highest. The sound was so beautiful that the shepherds forgot to be afraid. And then, suddenly, the bright light and the angels were gone and the night was silent and dark again. The shepherds looked at one another and said, Come on, let's go and see this child who is our saviour. Lord, we pray for everyone who will be at work this Christmas 
that they may glimpse your glory. With the shepherds, we come to the crib to see this child who has been born. If you have a candle with you, you might like to light it now and to turn out the other lights in the room. You might like also to turn on the lights of your Christmas tree if you have one. And as we sing Silent Night, I wonder which part of this Christmas story feels most important to you right now.
We're going to pray now and there are some actions that go with the words of the prayers that you might like to do at home as we pray. So when I say Lord Jesus born in Bethlehem, we make a cradle with our arms. And when I say be born in our hearts today, we put our hands over our hearts. Lord Jesus born in Bethlehem, be born in our hearts today. So as we focus on the light, we pray that all may know God's light and peace this Christmas. Lord, you were put to bed in a feeding box. Be with those who have nowhere to sleep. Lord Jesus, born in Bethlehem, be born in our hearts today. Your parents were strangers in Bethlehem. Be with those who are far from home. Lord Jesus, born in Bethlehem, be born in our hearts today. The shepherds listened to the angels and came to find you. Help us to tell the good news of your birth. Lord Jesus, born in Bethlehem, be born in our hearts today. When you were a baby, you were already in danger. We pray for everyone who has had to run away to another country. Lord Jesus, born in Bethlehem, be born in our hearts today. Be born in us and in all the world, so that all may know your love and peace. Amen. We sing the carol Ding Dong Merrily on High. Do join in with a bell or with whatever else you have that makes a joyful noise. Christ child be yours